Hey guys, Ryan here from Drum Styles, and today we're doing a really cool video on drum miking techniques. So a common problem that a lot of people run into when recording at home is that they're not able to set up enough mics around their kit when recording. So today what we're going to do is we're going to show you how you can still get good sound from your kit using only one, two, or three microphones uh, around your kit. So check it out and let's get started. All right, so we're first going to be starting off with the uh, one microphone technique of miking. We're going to do two different versions of this. We're going to use a condenser mic and we're going to place it uh, down into the middle of the kit to get a closer miking sound. And we're also going to do uh, a second setup where we're going to have an overhead uh, version with the condenser mic so you can get a little bit more of a roomy sound on the kit. So the condenser mic that we're using today is an Advanced Audio CM87. They are a Vancouver company um, and they make a lot of uh, model microphones. So this particular microphone, the CM87, is modeled after the famous Neumann U87. Uh, very good mic. It's been around for many years um, and it's a really great sounding mic. So uh, let's start off uh, with hearing the close miking technique with the first mic. All right, so next we are gonna take the same condenser mic and we're gonna be placing it over the center of the kit to sort of get an overhead sound. It'll be a little bit of a bigger, roomier sound. Uh, so let's take a listen to that and see how that sounds. All right, so that's what the two positions sound like for the one miking technique. We're gonna now move on to the two miking technique. For this one, what we're going to do is we're gonna leave the CM87 over top of the kit, and in the bass drum, we're going to put an AKG D112. The reason for this is so that the condenser mic will pick up a nice stereo image of the kit from above, and the D112 will pick up some of the low end punchiness that is uh, sometimes a little bit harder for the condenser to pick up. So uh, let's take a listen to that and see how it sounds. All right, so that's what the two mic setup sounds like. Uh, you definitely hear a little bit more punch and clarity by just adding that uh, second mic to the kick. So for the third one, what we're going to do is we're going to leave the D112 in the kick. We're going to leave the CM87 over top of the kit and we're now going to add an SM57 onto the snare. So by doing this, we're gonna capture the three main elements of the kit. We're gonna get the kick, snare, and the overhead sound. And when blending them together, you'll uh, really be able to hear that you'll get a really nice uh, image of the kit um, and just a really nice overall sound. So let's take a listen to that and see how it sounds. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed our video on drum miking techniques. Um, as you can see, you don't really need too many mics to get a decent sound of your kit. Of course, the more mics you have, the better, um, but you don't really need to worry. If you even have a couple mics to use, you can find a way to make it work. So uh, thanks again, guys, and uh, we'll see you soon. This is a mic that is modeled after the fame and uh, the Almond Brothers. The Almond Brothers. They <laughs> eat almonds and drink almond milk.